Welcome to our reflection for Holy Saturday. Some verses from John's Gospel, chapter 19, starting at verse 38, after Jesus has been killed. After these things, Joseph of Arimathea, who was a disciple of Jesus, though a secret one, because of his fear of the Jews, asked Pilate to let him take away the body of Jesus. Pilate gave him permission. So he came and removed the body. Nicodemus, who had first come to Jesus by night, also came, bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes, weighing about a hundred pounds. They took the body of Jesus and wrapped it with the spices in linen cloths, according to the burial custom of the Jews. Now, there was a garden in the place where he was crucified, and in the garden there was a new tomb in which no one had ever been laid. And so, because it was the Jewish day of preparation, and the tomb was nearby, they laid Jesus there. Today is traditionally, for the Christian church, a quiet day, when we reflect upon that in-between place, in between the crucifixion uh, and before the resurrection of Jesus. A day when for Jesus' as friends it would have been a day of deep grief, shock, fear, confusion and doubt, trying to come to terms with all that had happened, everything going so unexpectedly wrong, and before they had the realisation that this was not the end of the story. Today you might like to take a little time to be silent, to grieve over what's been lost over this past year, to mourn the ongoing impact of the pandemic, and of course, to grieve over the many other forms of suffering which continue throughout the world. Today you might want to offer to God your unanswered prayers, those not yet of God's kingdom that you long to see but which have not yet taken place. Here in this story we see two disciples of Jesus, two influential men, two members of the ruling council, who were presumably absent or silent or overruled when Jesus was on trial. And they come to express their devotion for the one they come to trust in. It's an interesting little detail that both were followers of Jesus, but more secretly, that fear held them back. I wonder what kind of a disciple are you? Do those around you know that you are a follower of Jesus and, and why? How? Or are there fears that hinder your pursuit of Jesus and your witness for Jesus? And if so, what is it or who is it that you are afraid of? At least these two disciples are bold enough to approach Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor, to ask for Jesus' body. That was taking a risk. And having received permission, they then perform this elaborate ritual of preparing Jesus' body and burying it. And you can see their deep love being expressed here, much as Mary had anointed him a few days earlier in Bethany before his death. And perhaps you might like to use your imagination. Imagine being there. Imagine expressing your devotion for one you love so much, so cruelly killed. Imagine what these men must have been feeling as they carried out this act of love. Over this past year, we've had to be a bit more secretive, locked away in our homes, and maybe it is harder for us to express and declare our faith. But there are still opportunities. And how might you show your devotion to Jesus? What can you do for others out of your love for him? How might you become more confident in expressing your faith, expressing your love for him before others? Something to ponder this day. Let's pray together. Today is a day for being silent, so let's pause and be quiet for a few moments. Offer to God your fears, your disappointments, your crushed hopes and lost dreams.
God our Father, we come to you in our grief, regret, disappointment, our failure. Take what seems to be dead and useless in us and by your resurrection power, raise new life in us and through us to others. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you.